What's up guys, John here, and uh, there's a YouTuber out there, or a guy on YouTube that was asking me about the GPDXD and how it emulates PSP games. Now, I did a couple of videos on the GPDXD, and I don't really think I went into any kind of great detail or really any detail at all with the PSP. So I'm going to show you some of the games that I emulate, well, PSP games on the GPDXD, and why I think the PSP emulator, which is PPSSPP, on the GPDXD is awesome. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Oh my god. So guys, I have a nice little collection of some PSP games, some stuff that I've collected over the years, and a lot of games that I cherish and have played through and beat quite a few times. Um, Hexy's Force probably being the most notable. But, you know, not everyone's a game collector, and, you know, a lot of people do love the PSP. I'm one of them. I think it's got an amazing game catalog. Some people might not want all this stuff on their shelves. They might not want a huge game collection. So, luckily for you guys, there is an answer, because you can play all these PSP games, plus a ton more, on this little guy right here. All right, so to show you guys just a little bit about this PSP on the GPDXD. So pretty much this is your home screen, okay? And you have your PPSSPP emulator. You have it pretty much installed on your GPD when you get it. There's no need to go into the Google Play Store or go onto the internet and download an APK. Now, you can do that, okay? There's plenty of great emulators on the internet. You can download the APKs or you can go on the Google Play Store, pay for them, however you want to get them. They're there. But I'm just letting you know that the GPDXD does come with the PPSSPP emulator. This icon right here, that icon right there, is on. It's on the GPDXD when you get it. You can you can move it around or whatever, but there's no need to download any PSP emulator. <clears throat> I don't know why GPD, the people that made it, I don't know why they did that. But it's the only emulator that's on Happy Chick that actually has its own physical icon on the device itself. So. Let me just show you guys how this thing works. And the controls are just like the PSP, the layout, you don't have to configure anything. For langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. Niemand bemerkte den Schatten, der sich langsam über ihnen ausbreitete. See, it looks looks pretty good. I mean, you're looking at it through a camera onto my GPD, so it doesn't look as good as the way I'm looking at it right now. Now, up here, if the frame rate's ready to drop, it'll tell you. It doesn't always drop, but it will notify you. That's kind of a good thing because you can adjust the frame rate on this thing. Let me just show you some of the gameplay. Uh, gotcha, bitch. Oh, God. All right, so guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to explain here. I just wanted to point out that the PSP emulator is on here. The thing works great. And there's another way you can access it. You can actually go to Happy Chick show you like this okay then so you get a play the little play icon down at the bottom of the screen and we're gonna go to PSP so I'll probably uninstall it a lot of these but some of them might be on there's the Dracula X so and then we can go right back to where we were And you actually can remove the, um, you know, the buttons on the screen. 
I just I accessed it through Happy Chick, which I usually don't do. I'm just letting you know that's another way you can do it. And another thing you can do. Let me just get out of here again. Another thing that you can do is if you're not familiar with downloading ROMs on the internet, if you know nothing about that, you go to category under hat. This is very simple. Happy Chick, category, and then PSP. Filter, English or any kind of genre you want and you can find you just hit get download and it downloads right to your device simple stuff guys so that's it that's the PSP on the GPDXD somebody left a comment wanting to know more about the PSP on the GPDXD so hopefully this explains it a little bit better I mean the only other thing I could possibly talk about is how I make my folders for my ROMs with ES File Explorer if anybody is remotely curious about that it's pretty self-explanatory please contact me i will let you know what's going on well guys please remember if you like what you see please subscribe share and like my videos trust me it really helps my channel grow and i hope everybody has a wonderful day peace out